Hello everybody, this is uh, Itsu. Uh, as promised, I uh, have a, another video about this uh, Della Mortel inverter loopback system. system. Uh, the last video I ended uh, with my concerns about uh, the voltage uh, being fed back into the system when it's done like this. Uh, you can see 220 volt coming out of here, going to a bridge rectifier. And then uh, I'll calculate we have something like 220, 230 volts DC here, which puts, uh, goes into the inverter, the 12 volt side, which of course is uh, going to damage the inverter, I'm almost sure. So I, my proposal was to uh, first build this system with the component components I have and then uh, measure the voltage without putting it back and I came up with this system this is basically my inverter 12 volts in and 220 volts out and then going into the the circuit like mentioned here but now uh, drawn at the other side without being loop, looped back Again, I here have the 32 microfarad capacitor. I have the 12 volt, 25, 21 watt bulb. In my case, I have here the full bridge rectifier. I have here a L1 uh, choke, 3.3 Henrys. That's the closest I could get instead of the uh, 600 or the 0.6 Henry, Henry but uh, I don't think it's that important. I have a uh, diode there and instead of C2 being a uh, 25 volts uh, capacitor I have taken one uh, which can handle uh, 450 volts because I'm sure that that will be the voltage on this side and then I have the multimeter hooked up uh, to measure this voltage um, this is then uh, the system. I have two uh, bat batteries parallel, so 12 volt. It goes to my uh, into my inverter. Uh, two times 10 volt out, and then to the Toro transformer. 220 volts output, 220 volts output. And uh, one side goes to a 30 microfarad uh, capacitor. The other side goes to the uh, 12 volt 21 uh, watt bulb. Uh, this goes into the AC side of the uh, full bridge rectifier. And then the plus goes uh, to this uh, side of the transformer which has a 3.3 Henry uh, inductance. And I'm back via the 1N4007 uh, diode to this uh, Capacitor 320 microfarad 450 volts DC. So this is basically the the system I had uh, made here, which is a, a derivative of uh, this one. And I have hooked my uh, multimeter across the plus and the minus of the. Uh, I just had uh, a test run and it's still uh, at 221 volt and uh, going down. So you can see we have a very high voltage on the uh, cap there. So uh, let me uh, connect now the 12 volt to the system. And you can see that the uh, voltage, the DC voltage across this cap is raising to 260 volt. And there's no way I can put this uh, back into the uh, 12 volt side of my inverter without damaging it, I'm, I'm sure so. I'm a little puzzled by the, the bulb is not lighting, there's no current running in the system. Um, so I'm a little bit puzzled uh, what to do now. I mean, uh, it cannot be this uh, this choke that's too high uh, that is uh, preventing it. 
And now we will try to hook up uh, my uh, 25 watt uh, bulb across this uh, cap to see what's happening. And uh, take it from there. Okay, there we are back again. I have hooked now my 25 watt to 30 volts bulb across the plus and the minus of uh, this cap. And uh, the multimeter reached now zero because it's drained. I will now connect the 12 volts. And you can see that the voltage is uh, going to 109 volt and the bulb is a little bit lit. So we have we have real current and we have real voltage uh, running in the system now. And it still presents 108 volt uh, DC on the cap. So my question now uh, is uh, how can we safely uh, make this loop back into the uh, 12 volt uh, system like it's presented here without uh, damaging uh, the stuff? Uh, I would like to have some uh, some uh, some answers from people who should know that this is uh, a nice uh, destructive device uh, instead of a uh, over unity loopback device. Uh, Okay, thank you for watching.